The old dictator must be turning over in his grave, David Funderburg said as he relished the irony of returning to Romania to help dedicate a church in the very hometown of Nicolae Ceausescu, noted the Washington Times. As you dedicate this church in this place, dar astăzi când sfințim această biserică în acest loc, it is with a special sense of irony in history. Mi se pare că trăim acel sens al istoriei care are ironiile ei. And it is with a sense of humility as a servant of God. Și plin de smerenie ca un slujitor al lui Dumnezeu. That I feel honored to join you today. Mă simt onorat să fiu alături de voi astăzi. He also spoke of the times when churches were demolished and pastors and priests were imprisoned, but when Romanian believers were an encouragement to American Christians. Mr. Funderburg presented the church in Scornicești with a congressional plaque from the Congress of the United States and two plaques for the inside and outside of the church. I can't express to you how wonderful feeling it is. It's, it's a feeling of victory, of, of our belief and our faith, and that nothing is impossible uh, where God is present. The Sunday morning dedication service for the church in Skornicești ended with an evangelistic message preached by world evangelist Sammy Tippett. We may think that there is no history with this church, but this church has a great history long before this land was given. Long before this building was built, this church was birthed in the hearts of people, said Dr. Tippett. When I first came to Romania in 1980, I saw a quality of commitment to Christ that I had only read about in history books. And, and it was then that the Lord, really back during the days of Ceausescu, that the Lord gave me a vision that what is happening in the hearts of the people of Romania, spiritually, needs to spread throughout the whole region. And so my vision is that what God is doing here today, for instance, this church plant, this dedication, the spirit that is here would be taken to the whole region. The Washington Post called it revenge. Dr. Paul Negrut said it was vindication. A closely associated Romanian word vindicare means healing. Ambassador Funderburg called it a sense of irony in history. Sammy Tippett said it was a special moment. And everyone agreed that it was history in the making. Astăzi este o zi în care, după ce Ceaușescu și-a întors fața către Scornicești, oamenii și-au întors spatele către Scornicești, credem că Dumnezeu și întoarce fața către Scornicești. Asta este mesajul pe care am vrut să-l transmitem prin inaugurarea acestui centru creștin, locaș în care se vor desfășura activitățile bisericii de aici, o biserică fică a unei alte biserici din zonă. Credem că astăzi Dumnezeu și întoarce fața către oamenii de aici. God has turned his face on Scornicești, and the light of the gospel started to shine in this place so dark and so evil. The Baptist Church is the living testimony of a new beginning in this town. God presented these people a second chance, namely the chance of everlasting life. Ceausescu is dead. Jesus Christ is victorious. But the restoration has just begun, and the fruits are yet to come.